This video will provide tips on teaching your young student ways to learn the alphabet and help your older student use graphic organizers when writing. Teach your student the alphabet using a variety of modalities, such as kinesthetics, auditory, visual, and tactile learning. Teaching your young student to write can be difficult if they have a hard time gripping a pencil or using scissors. Start by allowing your student to have fun coloring in a coloring book so that they can begin to develop their motor skills. Soon your young student will set off to become a writer. Here are the stages of spelling you might recognize. Pre-communicative spelling is when a child writes using letters or symbols to carry a message. Semi-phonetic spelling is a stage when a child begins to understand that letters carry a sound or meaning. The phonetic stage of spelling is when a child can group sounds they hear in words. Transitional spelling is also inventive spelling where a child uses their best judgment when spelling, it is often readable, but still practicing sound syllable rules when spelling. Conventional spelling or correct spelling is when a student understands spelling with affixes, silent consonants, and irregular spelling. When writing or responding to a question, it is always good practice to write in full sentences no matter one's age or grade level. Full sentences must include a main clause that contains a subject and verb to complete a thought. In this sentence, my cute puppy curls up on the rug. Subject, cute puppy, verb, curls. A great coaching technique to help young writers grow into good writers is by encouraging sentence stretchers. Sentence stretchers take a basic sentence and includes the five W's of writing. Who, my cute puppy. What, my cute puppy curls up on the rug. When, each night, my cute puppy curls up on the rug. Where, each night, my cute puppy curls up on the rug in my room. Why, each night, my cute puppy curls up on the rug in my room to chew his bone. When it comes to writing, it's always a good idea to model what good writing looks like to your student by having a written example available for them to see. It's okay if your student uses the same words as you because they're taking what you've said and are using it as their foundation to build on. Soon, they'll be taking what you taught them and begin to write in their own words. It is useful to model good writing when writing in full sentences, paragraphs, and essays. It is helpful to use bubbles or graphic organizers to help steer your writing in the right direction. For example, using bubbles can help emphasize the topic of a multi-paragraph writing assignment. First, choose your topic then divide it into three subtopics or details. Here you could span on each detail with facts and examples. Mapping out your writing is good when retelling a fiction or non-fiction. It helps you plan and pace the points you're going to make in each paragraph. In each box, decide what details belong to each. You might even want to add another middle paragraph to your writing if there is a lot of important information to share. Using a Venn diagram to compare and contrast information can help with isolating details to include in your writing. A summary takes the main parts of a story and is retold by stating the main points from the beginning, middle, and end.